fog is an end-to-end -end architecture. And so this means that we emphasize that end-to-end -end architecture aspect. We do not look at fog as something for the edge only. When people look at the edge only, you tend to amplify the differences between the edge and the cloud. You tend to ignore the commonality. You tend to ignore the aspect of the integration. And we believe that integration, that seamless, in seamless integration between the cloud and the fog is very important. And so that's why we emphasize this end-to-end -end architecture. It needs to be a unified, seamless architecture. And that not only can leverage, can share a lot of common technology, but also will allow you to develop an application and use it in different places, in the cloud, in the fog, and vice versa. And that integration also allows you to distribute functions from one place to another and to another, and then to pull those different functions, resources that you distributed in the cloud, in the fog, different places in the fog, or even including in some cases onto the terminals, to pull them together to support applications. So in other than, in, in essence, the fog is not an, anti, an isolated thing that you put on the, uh, uh, on the edge anywhere. And it does not limit itself to any particular type of edge either. And also we emphasize it's just end-to-end -end architecture. So it's, it's not just about putting an application somewhere in, at the edge. It's not just about standing up on this local server. So the fog computing, and um, at least from the Open Fog Consortium's uh, perspective, and uh, we are developing that end-to-end -end horizontal open architecture that is going to satisfy those several characteristics that we mentioned. Um, it's going to be in a continuum. It's going to allow the seamless uh, integration. It's going to be horizontal. It's going to be scalable and working over and inside networks and so on.